you've said to me before, be my mummy and be my daddy. Yes. Group hug. Hi guys, welcome to the internet. It's time for another episode of Les Confess Now. Rosie assures me that this is gonna be the best Les Confess video we've ever done. That's what I think. I haven't seen any of the confessions. I have no idea what's about to come. They're the best ones. Really? But, I mean, best video we've ever done, that depends if you're on form. Me? Yeah. No pressure. I read this question and I was immediately like, wow, way to call me out. Do you guys have a mummy kink? I don't have a mummy king. I'm Come on, this isn't about us. This is an anonymous platform where you send us stuff so we can judge you. Why are you attacking me like that? I this? do feel attacked. I met this really hot, glamorous older woman today. Babe, I've been with you I all day. Yeah. At what point were you with me all day? I just got back. Should I quickly Google it? Should I really quickly? I don't think you I need to Google it. I think you know what a mummy king what is. You is call me mummy, mummy and then king. you want to breastfeed. Someone said only babies drink milk, but it's like, like to differ. I'm 17 and have such a huge thing for older women. I see you're 30 to 50 and I raise you. I would go up to the age of Sarah Paulson's girlfriend, who I believe is 70 something, maybe 80s, and I'd go there. Peggy Peabody? Yes, that's her. Hot. That's her real name. Yes. I don't have an older woman kink. I just don't. Do I go not? for younger women. I obviously need to be in control where I'm taller and older and technically more experienced. More dominating. Like, really? Would you say dominating? It's not something I do. They want to know about the top and the bottom and it's like, it's mummy baby. Look, I can't. I just can't. I don't think I'm a baby. This has led me to reject every young person that has ever been into me. Older women are so much hotter, am I right? I would go on some kind of sugar mama website. That's not what you That's no. where you find old no. lesbians. You need to go on a Bet Porter style Buddhist retreat where there are a lot of older women there would be older breaking down. And go on a cruise. And, and where are you? You want, it, you want it swooping when they're at their weakest. I really want to get this confession out there. Ooh. I like that. I like it too. I am deeply in love, no joke, with a 40 year old woman. I myself am 17. Ah. She's my ex-English teacher who I still see every week. I used to be in love with my English teacher. She's called Mrs. Aston. Not even joking, she had massive tits. She's got Mrs. Aston, she's got massive tits. Yeah, it was irony. And that's what I learned in English. <laughs> I do not know what to do. I may be reading too much into things, but she often flirts and pays me many compliments. I mean, what am I watching porn? This sounds like an in. This is erotica. I like to think that she sees her in like a local coffee shop, like gypsy style on Netflix. Oh, that got okay. gypsy season was two. so good. Good. I need to know where she sees her because she, if she sees yeah, her, I need like contact. A, yeah, I need more context. Okay, get back to me. Lesbian fantasy, having a threesome with my girlfriend and her mum. She's like an older version of my girlfriend. What's not to love? Okay. This wait, this has crossed the line. That, really, even for you? Yeah. Right. Because it's incest. I know we joke, but sometimes it's, it's wincest, depending on the personality. The only time it's okay if it's a set of twins <laughs> and they okay. don't touch each it's other. It's never They're okay. just on Speechless. Yeah. yeah this Would you have a threesome with me and my mum? <laughs> yes. I respect Barbara Denise too much to even like bring her down to my level. Same. You know, and also I've already got one mummy and I wouldn't know what to do with two. Technically you've got three, I guess. Okay, you just made it gross. Oh, sorry, I made it gross. Oh wow, I've got another fantastic one. Okay, go on. Her girlfriend went down on her and her mum walked in. I see your mum walking in and you being gone down on. And I raise you, my mum walked in on me while I was upside down 69ing on top of someone. She saw like my asshole. This is what she walked into. No, Rosie, we don't need that. She walked in. And I made eye contact. Oh, what did she say? What Nothing, she just closed the door and walked out. We never spoke about you it. You never and spoke. I We're going round tonight. I'm going to bring it up. Ah! I'm going to bring it up. Family barbecue Sunday. Yeah! I would never be yeah. able to look at my But we made again. intense eye contact through my leg. No one's ever walked in on me having sex. Oh, actually, my ex-girlfriend's mum did. So I had a dildo in and my trousers were down and we were in bed in the middle of the day and she walked in my girlfriend's mum at the time and she obviously knew what was happening but she didn't want to walk out straight away because yeah, yeah. then it would have been more embarrassing. So she, pretended not so to she came in and she was like, hey, no, how I you think doing? She and I was like, oh, oh no, I she think, knew, no. babe, oh, it was so embarrassing. Then I asked if I could have a sandwich and she made it. <laughs> That is bold. So good. It Whoa. Was cheese and lettuce mayo sandwich, and it was the you best sandwich I've ever had. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. Did yeah. you finish up or? Actually, I think I just had a sandwich, and that was enough. I made up an elaborate lie so I could go and see my girlfriend who lives in Spain. I'm 17, and no one knows we're together as my family are homophobic, so wouldn't let me go. But I've lied to get to another country to see her. Why won't you do that for me, Rose? We live in the same house. I love that. They lied about and you. snuck away to Spain. That's amazing. Where did you say you were? A hot Spanish love. Oh, 
nice is your girlfriend Spanish because hot. That makes the story I've even hotter. I've never hot been there. to Spain. Neither have I. I've never been to mainland Spain in my life. It takes like two hours on a plane. Yeah, I know. We've never been. Never been. <laughs> we had it booked, but then we had to interview Camila Cabello instead. And I was like, sorry, Spain. Right, this one, I don't know if you're going to go there, but I am. My girlfriend has eaten my ass before. I don't want to go here, Rosie. Wherever you're going to take this, I don't want to go You know I don't want to I don't But I'm so scared to try doing it myself to her for fear of not doing it right or realising I don't like it. Do you want to tell a story? What story? Because we haven't got any stories. This is a joke. It's, it's not it's a not real... Even a story. I'm dying inside. Okay, we won't go there. I recommend giving it a go. Hygiene is key. Take a shower together, sexy shower. Really clean it up. This makes it sound like we have some disgusting stories. We don't. Basically, I'll, I'll tell the story. Okay. Basically, Rose did what you're talking about to me. Okay. And then, later, nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it? It was nothing to do with it, and I'm a very clean, hygienic person, and I washed. But Rose got ill. And, and nothing then, to do and with then it! I said to Rose, what if you got ill from that? And basically, it in her mind. I was actually joking. So hygiene is key, but I know that wasn't the case. I hope you know that I wasn't do know. the case. I I've got OCD. I wouldn't go near anything that wasn't absolutely you'd know, sparkling. You'd know, babe. You would like been polished like you would like you're no. killing me this is one of my favorite stories okay i came out on crime watch is the like that's short amazing synopsis. that's so amazing she, she's done it in bullet points i, need I to love know it more. I, I love she said, mistake was having an affair with my manager she was engaged went to a club in blackpool on a tuesday night i dig it a camera crew were filming i thought it was the new light show can't dance won't dance but ended up on the dance floor for a whole 10 minutes thought no more about the camera crew three months later august 1990 i was born then sat in my room and crime watch came on tv then there had been an unsolved murder and the last place he'd been seen alive, yep, the club in Blackpool. Shit! The eruption from the living room was my dad shouting my name. The telephone started ringing. A lot of my dad's friend had seen me obviously with a woman on the dance floor kissing. My dad's next door neighbor, this is my favorite bit, the highlight. My dad's next door neighbor stopped his four year old daughter from coming into our garden to feed the rabbits if it was only me there. The weird, strange homophobia from the neighbour's part. Passive aggressive, nothing homophobia. We've all dealt with it, right? It's like so stupid homophobia that it doesn't affect me in any way. It's their problem. No, like, I've got no, I've got an example. It, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we used to have a dog walker. walker for the times that we had to leave Wilma for longer than like, like 10 twice. hours. And we used him twice and on one occasion he didn't let us come through the house. He made us come round the back into the garden to pick up the dog because, because his wife, his was, wife home. was home. He had a house like a dog sitting club where everyone dropped their dogs off. He'd walk them all together. They'd all hang out together. It was great. It was safe. It's down the road and then I could pick them up again. First time I came round with Rose, it was really weird. And let me elaborate on that. Basically, I asked to see his house. If I'm leaving my dog there, I want I to see what that house is yeah. like. And they didn't like the fact that we turned up as two women and we were judging and them. And it was our dog. They were like... Yeah, they were really strange. And, and I was like, to make wow. conversation, And I'm not being rude, but I'm an excellent conversationalist. And I was saying some real high-class shit about that house. Like, it was tear top. Like, we were like, is that porcelain Osa? <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my god. Who did your brick wall outside? Oh. I'm Australian. <laughs> He's homophobic, right? He saw this girl kissing, right, in a club on Crime Watch. And he's like, to his daughter, you can't feed the rabbits when it's just her. You'll catch it. To the four-year-old daughter, what, what's she gonna do? She's gonna catch it. How come all the gays aren't straight from all the straight shit on TV? Exactly. Everything's straight on Works TV. Works both ways. So stupid. Can I just say, this Crime Watch story has blown my fucking mind. Being oh. outed by Crime Watch of all things. It's the best thing. Also, did they find the person that was murdered? That's the hard-hitting question. I mean... We need an update, we need a follow -up. I need to know more I about that story. I need your Reddit name, because um, I feel like you're on four chat I can just tell. I'm gonna round this off with a final one. Go on. And it simply says, when I'm on my period, I poop every 30 minutes. I'm not even exaggerating. Anon, I feel you. Okay, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, if you are in the club in Blackpool and you're having an affair, try not to get it caught on tape by Crime Watch. Mm. This is really the only thing that you should take away from this I video. would love, like, if you're gonna be outed for an affair, a secret lesbian affair with an older woman who is engaged, do it on Crime Watch. That is how you tell the person she's engaged to. If you like, let's confess. If you like our merch, if you like me, if you like our sex positive, open and honest talks with you, make sure you ring that bell <laughs> button. I hate you. Bye. Bye.